please welcome sisters Erica and Tina Campbell, better known as Mary Mary. Did you guys like the final edit of your gold medal moments we that did. I hosted? Thank you so much. God, yeah, you know, on We, they did the, anyway. They were the most <laughs> intense scenes of the reality show yes. ever. So, um, now what do we expect this season? Ooh, Ooh life uh, is happening. Um, everything from the loss of a parent to changes in the career to I'm sorry to about that. Yeah. I mean, everything that humans face in life, we had to face it in front of the whole yeah. world. Now, yeah. dad passed away. Yeah. Dad Sorry to hear about that. He and got his wings. He's in heaven now. He so got he's his better. wings. And now, um, Erica, you are now a solo artist. I she am. Left me. <laughs> Tina, Man, you, you left me a long time ago. Tina. <laughs> no, really. Yeah, people are devastated about this. Let's not make light. What's going to happen? Well, I needed a break. I needed a break. From it all? Yeah, just from it all. Mm -hmm. it, it had been 13 years nonstop. I'm pregnant every other year. I'm, you know what I'm, I'm just like, you know, I just go, 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 go. And I'm like, I love this. I live for this. I would do it if there was never a check, never a Grammy, never anything. But I'm burnt out on it, which means it's time to stop, yeah. recover, rest, you know, enjoy some other element of life and come back. And so while I'm away, she never like, she never stops. So, <laughs> but your husband, Erica, is the manager of Mary Mary. No, is he's the producer. The producer, he's, yes. Producer. And we've been writing songs and producing music since, since record number one. Yeah. So he's been with us for the entire ride. And so he, he's felt me wanting to do a little bit more, but never wanting to push my sister. Sometimes I did, and sometimes she didn't like it. And you can't force somebody to do what they yeah. don't want to do. Yeah. And she's entitled to take a break. Yes. And so I'm, I love that this solo journey includes her being my cheerleader. Yeah. She helped yeah. me write the song that got nominated for a Grammy, A Little oh, More nice. Jesus, my first okay. song. Okay, all right. Yeah, and so because I have her cheering me on, it's even better. Yeah. Now, Tina, you're dealing with a lot. Um, it was revealed in Ebony Magazine, otherwise we wouldn't have known that your husband stepped out on you. But in Ebony, and, and with a friend? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, people, life got real. Yes. Um, and I revealed it. I don't, I, I don't like being hostage to my own secrets and all that. I've watched mm -hmm. people live in shame and embarrassment. And I figure, I'm going to do shame for a little while and embarrassment for a little while, and then I'm going to get over it yeah. because life goes on. Mm -hmm. So that's what I chose and to do. And you all are still married? You worked it out? We're working through it. We're working through it. We're working through it. Are you living it. separately at this time? We've gone Gotta through all of those stages. All of those stages. And we're, I, I just want to say that we're working through it, and you should really watch that's this season because life happened and if I had known what this season was going to consist of before I started, I would have opted out. I probably really been, absolutely. I well, that means that it's going to be good for us to watch. It was, you know, <laughs> I, fortunately we're executive producers on our show, so we watch our edits and we have to clear yes, and okay a lot yes. of things. And it was hard for me to do it. But she's okay with the truth. How old are your kids? They are, well, my love daughter, my daughter through marriage is 19 mm -hmm. and then I, by birth I have 10, 6, 4, and one. So you're dealing with a lot of emotions regarding your husband. Mm -hmm. you, now your husband was um, a, drum, a drummer for The Tonight Show. Yes. Is he, well The Tonight Show is no more because they got now the roots. he's doing American Idol. Now he does, oh good, so he's still working. Yeah, four day break and went back to American Idol. Yeah. yeah, I wish you well you know, with that and we'll definitely be watching. And now um, Erica, Erica is dealing with a lot because the critics are saying that she's too sexy. Well, you all have always, let's show the picture of the white dress and tell me what they said about this outfit that you have on. And this, <laughs> okay? Thank you. <laughs> so Thank now, you. Uh, let me guess, the church is saying that you're too sexy because what, you got hips and boobs? Hips yeah. and boobs. She, she um, they told me my them. hands were, I was in the Illuminati because my hands, it's praying hands to me. Um, the Illuminati! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you for laughing. Yeah, you know, I think the first comment was somebody was like, oh, come on now, you're just doing too much. And I'm going, it's a turtleneck. She's wearing a turtleneck. She's fully That's, covered. She can't I, help it if yeah. she's giving silhouette. <laughs> I mean, you know, I have three children. Yes. Um, I have high blood pressure. I work out. I want to make sure that I'm healthy. Um, and that the curves that God gave me seem to show when I have yeah. clothes on. You know, I try to be mindful because I never try to sell my sexy, but I'm comfortable with it. And I think more Christians should understand that it's not a bad thing. We should take ownership of who we are and be okay. Yeah. I'm okay with a young girl not just singing R&B diva or Dick Bixen looking sexy. If they see a gospel artist but it's tasteful, I'm happily married with children. Yeah. I mean, why isn't that yeah. okay? Now, how you know? old are your kids, Erica? Um, nine, 
four, nine, three, and two. My two-year-old's actually backstage with me. Oh, really? Um, do, in my head, you all live in the same development. No. Just, in my head. In, in no, my we, head. No. we do everything in our lives together. Everything. Really, we have. And so this is great to be able to separate. How far do you live from one another? We live too far. I was trying to get her no to move to my neighborhood. About, no, I, she was really trying to. Like, Tina, it's a, it's a place down the street. I said, I ain't never moving down the street from you. Like, you're going to be in my house too much. You know, yeah, it you just, would be at mine. It just, everything would be too convenient, it's too so accessible. I love her, but I need space. <laughs> All right, uh, see, before see you go, is any more music together? When you get off the road and when you are ready, will there be, is there more Mary Mary? There's definitely more There's more, more Mary Excellent. Mary. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And thank you for being so honest with your conversations, both of you. Oh, the new welcome. season of Mary Mary airs on Thursday nights at 9 on WeTV.